many of you have a partner that snores? Do they deny it or refuse to do absolutely nothing about it? Well, my Cole Feld found out in some homes that it's so bad couples end up sleeping in separate bedrooms. So tonight, we're trying to save some marriages here. <laughs> yeah. I understand that there is some hope. There is a simple device, folks, that could end up saving a lot of marriages. Ah, but first, the truth. Gentlemen, if you snore, you're not alone. Doctors tell me half of the men watching tonight probably snore, and in many relationships, it forces drastic measures. Ben Lamoureux has been snoring like that for as long as his wife can remember. <laughs> I can't stand the sound of it. Local 6 viewer Christy Mager Lamoureux has that sound on audio. And video. Cracking the door open. To document the assault on her sleep that she says has lasted night after night for nearly 14 years. Torture? Or is that too strong a word? Um, it was torture to me, most definitely. Christy says she hit the breaking point two years ago and never looked back. <laughs> It was really taking its toll on my mental health and my physical health, and I decided that I can't keep going like this. Her action was non-negotiable. Look closely at that video. That's right, Ben is sleeping alone. It's not impacting the relationship? Um, not severely. The softer the snore, the, the more they can sleep in the same bed with their spouse. Dr. Tabar Qureshi is a sleep medicine specialist. His sleep studies have linked patient snoring to the more serious sleep apnea. As for being in denial or separate bedrooms? It should not be embarrassing because there are now treatments for snoring. One of the treatments scoring promising results is an anti-snoring device called Theravent. If 50% of people uh, had a reduction in snoring by uh, 40 decibels. Have we figured out why you're snoring? No, I really don't know why. Don McKelvin agreed to a sleep study when his wife Susan told him she couldn't take that snoring anymore. A week after using Theravent... We both have a better quality of sleep. Because Don doesn't snore like he did. You're not breathing in, but it allows you to breathe out. It took a couple hours for me, actually, to, to try and get used to it. That brings us back to Ben and Christy Lamoureux. Ben has agreed to try the device, but after two nights, there was no improvement. So you'll keep trying it and see? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll definitely keep trying it. I'll make sure. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, they are happily married. As for the device, everyone says it's uncomfortable at first, but after a week you get used to it. And I'll be talking more about this on our Local 6 Face page at uh, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. And uh, ladies, you're not off the hook. Lauren? Lady snore too, by 40%. Uh, wow. Oh yeah, oh so, yeah. So what about health risks? We know, Guard, that uh, there are potential health risks. It's a signal. When you have that snoring, it can signal high blood pressure, diabetes, and heart disease, because you may have sleep apnea. So don't just blow it off. If you're snoring, get it checked out, because it could be something far worse. All right, and I have questions already yeah. about this. I, I still don't understand the in and the out. So tomorrow morning, Facebook, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Bring morning, them on, yeah. You're going to start answering questions about this. And you can email me afterwards, but I'll stay on Facebook as long as you need me, and I've got doctors I'm working with, so we'll okay. set them straight. Yeah. Local 6 Facebook. Right. Thank you, Mike. All right, guys. There you go. All right, thanks, yep. Mike. And for tomorrow night,